Okay, let's do something really good. A lot of people just don't think to do this, but these are amazing. Roasted carrots. If you have never made roasted carrots, you will want to after you see this video. I'm so serious. So let's get rolling with roasted carrots. Okay, let's get this carrot pot started. All right, I've just got, I've got some rainbow carrots. I just think they're pretty, especially for a side. And I've just cut them on the diagonal. Let's see if I can get that up to you. See, I just cut them on the diagonal. I think they're pretty on the plate when they're like that. You just use orange carrots. You don't have to use these. They're great. I like to do my parsnips like that too. But anyway, uh, here's some orange ones. Aren't they pretty? All right. This is so short and sweet. I got all of your choice. I prefer just to use a generic oil. I think this is sunflower or canola. I can't remember. And you don't need a whole lot. I just always add a little more after I've stirred them to see. And I go in and I just, this does not let much out at a time. All right. In this one, I ground this off camera. This is about Oh, I don't know. It's a little over a teaspoon of salt for this many carrots. Remember, I'm doing, you can just do as many carrots as you want. You don't even have to add the pepper to it unless you want to. All right, and here's some salt. I've got kosher salt going on it. I'm going to get just a little coating there. And then here's what I do, folks. This is my house seasoning I made in the live video, but I didn't give you the, don't worry. It's in the can. I just haven't edited it and gotten it out. And I come over like, with just my seasoning salt. That probably wasn't even half a teaspoon. Comes fast out of that thing. All right, and I go in and I coat it. I just make sure all the carrots are thoroughly coated. It's kind of like, you know, I, I did my, uh, I'm gonna add, this just probably not even a teaspoon and a half. Take, it, it, not much comes out of that thing. Might have been a tea, um, yeah, it might have been close to two teaspoons, not quite. Whoop, he jumped out of the pan, didn't he? He didn't want to fry. My table's clean, folks. I just scrubbed it with Dawn before and washed it off before I started this video. Wow, I'm just being a slop today. <laughs> All right, and that's it, guys. I'm going to put this on a cookie sheet, so we'll be right back. Okay, guys, I did a little switch. I had to fix my exposure because of the full on the cookie sheet. That's pretty much it. Now, I usually use cookie, two cookie sheets for this, I'm going to be honest, but, and I'll probably split these, but you get the idea. I'll probably split these into another cookie sheet, a little small one, and I, one layer is best. I'm not going to do that on camera, but you'll see when I bring this back. 400 degrees, leave them, put them in for about 18 minutes, start checking for 18 minutes. Some people, you can if you want to for the first 10 minutes, or even 12 minutes, completely cover it with foil, but I do want mine uh, to actually roast, so I'm not going to cover mine in foil, okay? And at the end, I will tell you how many minutes it took for my, me, me to get done. I do have meat patties in my oven as well, so may need to adjust your time, even if I tell you what time it was, okay? I'll see you back when these are done. They're going in the oven. Okay, for mine, uh, the way I had mine sliced, it was about 22 minutes. You can, if you do it chunkier, it's going to be more time. If you cut it thinner, it's going to be less time. But you're going to have to just play with your oven. I've told you all in the past before, everybody said oven's different. And remember, I had meat patties in with mine because that could have also affected my time. So it was 22 minutes. And then let me tell you what I did. And I didn't do it heavily. I, I was going to do a little more, but I'm just tired. At the end, turn your oven over to broil on high. Do not walk away for this step. Do not walk away from this step. And then all you got to do is turn it on broil, leave it in, and just check it once a minute until it gets to how you like it. Don't walk away. This is not the time to text with your boyfriend or whatever, <laughs> or girlfriend. It doesn't matter. Don't do it, okay? So having said that, here's the last step. And this is totally optional, and I don't usually always do that, but some people like the extra butter. I've got about two and a half tablespoons of butter that I, I'm not even going to put it all on here, and I drizzle. I drizzle, and I give it a little, whoop, that was a little more than a drizzle right there. And then I just come in, 
Just give it a little stir. And that's it, folks. Put it in your pretty bowl, put it on your table, serve it off the cookie sheet like we do. And uh, that's it. You can add a little more salt and pepper to taste or don't do anything. I tasted one. I admit it didn't need any. I didn't need a thing. Okay, I just did the butter to show y'all because I don't normally do that. But a lot of people do like the extra butter on there. So it's a drizzle. Don't pour. You don't want to overdo it. You shouldn't see, if you've noticed, you're not seeing uh, butter running out from underneath my carrots. So that's it, guys. You see what I'm talking about? Is that good or what? I mean, that's a good, those were good, I'm telling y'all. They were so good that my sons, two days later, said, would I please make another huge batch of roasted carrots? And guess what? I did, and they were good. Uh, now, I don't know, I don't put the butter on there. I did that for the video to show you how to do it. And I didn't even have my, I didn't even have my little butter drizzler. I should have used that, because, but anyway, it came out, they came out perfect. So, you ought to try that. They look pretty on a plate, too, if you get those ro rainbow kind. So, anyway, I hope you liked it. And if you did, please comment below. Let me know how you liked it. And hit like and subscribe. I would sincerely... Oh, I think I hit the microphone. Appreciate it. Okay, I will see my peeps in the next video.